Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler and today I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. Specifically, the topic for today is Megaliths and the Curse of Strahd. This is a Dungeon Master Guide for the Curse of Strahd adventure book for Dungeons and Dragons 5e. What is the purpose of the standing stones at the foot of the old bone grinder? Dungeon Masters and players might want the Megaliths to be more significant during their adventure. Here are a few suggestions to fill in the gaps. The Megaliths are remains of four cities that used to dominate Barovia before becoming Strahd's Domain of Dread. This is referred to as the Twilight of Four Cities. Each of the four stones are carved with a symbol related to each city. It's also associated with the seasons of the year. And the first residence of the ancient gods, such as the Mother Night and the Morning Lord on page 128. The megalith is a burial ground for the children's bones, teeth the hags have cooked into dream pastries. The children's bones are never found, so no one realises what the hags are doing, and it allows the hags to worship the wicked archfey, Kethlin of the Crooked Teeth. The megaliths act as a portal to another world such as the Nine Hells, the Abyss, the Ethereal Plane, or possibly the Far Realm. The megaliths hide an invisible door into time so that mistakes can be fixed by anyone who knows the activation ritual. The door through time might be used by Strahd or even the player's characters. An ancient granite stone druid circle that was once used to heal the sick and bring the dead back to life. You might want to include dead creatures becoming undead creatures. The megalith could also be a blue stone communication circle for talking with the Dark Lords that imprisoned Strahd. Strahd hasn't used the megalith for hundreds of years and is the only one who knows how to use it, as well as being the only individual the Dark Lords respond to most of the time. The megalith could also be a magical rock teleportation circle linked to different circles throughout Barovia. And you could also, if the Dungeon Master wanted to, include the Domains of Dread. The Megalith could be a landing zone for air balloons, flying sailing ships, and spell jammer ships. Aliens and space travellers love a few rocks to park on. Now if you found this video useful, fantastic. I have a bunch of videos on the Curse of Strahd for Dungeon Masters, including the player, and you might find those videos useful. Otherwise, I have hundreds of videos for players and Dungeon Masters covering every aspect of Dungeons & Dragons. If you want to support the channel so I keep doing video content like this, you can through my Patreon page, the Amazon affiliate links down in the description, the merchandise shelf underneath all of my videos, or just watch my videos, that's fine too. Do all the usual YouTube things like share, like and subscribe, hit the bell button to be notified when I go live, and I go live every week, and when I publish new videos, and hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s.